Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In today's video, I will show you how to get Distance Horizons mod in Minecraft 1.21.1. As you can see right now, I'm using the Minecraft 1.21.1 and everything's working just fine. So let's get straight into this video so we can get the Distance Horizons as well. So first of all, we are going to need the Distance Horizons mod. So please go to the video description and there are uh, like free or, or four download links. So please click on all of those. The first one will take you to my website on the Distance Horizons mod. So in here, click uh, on the Distance Horizons mod, please. And as you can see in here, it says 1.31.x. So we need to download this one. So just hit download. And then we are going to need a fabric 1.21.1 as well. So again, scroll down and download fabric and fabric AP. So let me open both and just hit download, download for windows and to do the same with fabric uh, AP. Just make sure that it's the correct version. Okay, sorry, here's the versions. Uh, no, not, not 1.21.2, but 1.21.1. So again, hit download. And then Iris shaders, we're going to use it as well. So hit the download and hit download now, download the universal char. And uh, I'm gonna use sodium as well and uh, indium. Okay, so let's download the sodium and indium. You don't really need these two, but I'll leave a link for these two as well in the video description. So now we have six files on our desktop and let's install it so we can use uh, the distance horizons mod. Okay, so uh, here it is. And let me get to the roaming folder. So just go to the window search bar, type in percent app data percent, hit enter. And this will open up the roaming folder for us. In here, we are going to take a look on the dot Minecraft. So please open it up. And now scroll to the mods. Let me delete this mod. And now let's take the Distance Horizons mod and drop it in here. We are going to take the Fabric AP as well and Indium and Sodium as well. Okay, so you need to have Distance Horizons mod, Fabric AP, Sodium and Indium in the mods folder. Once you have it in here, go back and uh, let's scroll down to versions and uh, let's double click on Irish installer. Uh, what I've just found is that we don't really need the, that fabric installer because we're going to use this installer, uh, Never mind. So once you open the Iris installer, please make sure that you use Iris plus fabric, okay? You need to use this type, otherwise it wouldn't work. So please use this one. Make sure you use 1.21.1 and hit install. Let's wait and uh, okay, hit uh, hit uh, yes, and uh, we can close this one now. We'll just check that you get you have Irish Fabric Loader 1.21.1. Sorry, where is it? Oh, okay, this is this is the one. Sorry, so Fabric Loader 1.21.1, and now if we go back and to the mods, maybe okay, never mind, everything's just fine, everything is in here so. What we're going to do now is to close this one. Let's open up Minecraft Launcher and we're going to take a look on this. Uh, we have to make sure that we are launching the correct version. Uh, I have never played Minecraft 1.21.1 on this PC. So what I'm going to need to do uh, is to open up the classic Minecraft 1.21.1 and then we can actually play uh, the newer version with this mod. So let me just show you quickly what to do. Uh, we are going to adjust more RAM as well because you should adjust more RAM to do Minecraft. Uh, since one sec. Since uh, the distance uh, horizons mod uh, use lots of RAM. So basically uh, use Fabric Loader 1.21.1 and before we do that go to the installations Fabric Loader, uh, 1.21.1, not the 1.21, and hit three dots, edit, uh, more options, and let me just use uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, this is uh, regard, uh, regarding the RAM. So if you've got 32 gigabytes of RAM like I do, you would use 16G. If you have 16 gigabytes of RAM, use 8G. Just always use 50% of your RAM's capacity. So 
Finally, Fabric Loader 1.21.1 hit play. Maybe it will download something, uh, update something, uh, I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Okay, it's downloading, but it's pretty fast. And once we get to the game, I'll show you how everything works. Uh, one thing that I have in my mind right now is that we could install shaders. I know we installed the Irish shaders, but we don't have Blaze shader, for example. So I will just quickly install it after this so you see how uh, it looks like with the shaders. So just wait a bit until we get to the point of menu. Finally, we are in here. Now go to the single player. Uh, let me just turn off this texture pack. And let's get to the single player. Let's use my world. You can use any word you want. Open it up. And this pack doesn't have a DH support distance, blah, 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 blah. This isn't back. Okay. Uh, okay. On the right, but it's slowly loading as you can see. So if I press uh, escape, go to the options and distance horizons config, quality preset. Okay, let's use medium and let's use balanced done. And we actually have the shaders as well. So do I have, okay, I don't have the bliss shader distance horizons, but I will install it in a bit. But as you can see, it's working. You need just, you just need to wait until it just loads up but yeah this is how to actually download and install the distance horizons mod you can play with it a little bit so you can have i don't know better graphics or just uh, better distance or render distance sorry yeah so okay oh, oh, oh the shader is working i forget about it okay so wait one sec maybe i need to disable it no, it's still the same. Okay, so it may be the Distance Horizons shader. I don't know. Never mind. Uh, thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. I hope I have helped you with this one. And yeah, see you in the next one. Okay, I, I'm, I'm quickly back. Uh, so I've installed the Bliss uh, shaders. And I also uh, changed 128 uh, to 512 in uh, the Distance Horizons config and it's looking much better so if you want to have the best experience just use 512 render distance in uh, the distance horizons config and also install the bliss shaders main uh, i will leave a video uh, not video but link down in the description so you can actually download it and just look at it it's it's amazing i love to play with this mod actually it makes minecraft look much more better and these shaders Come on, man. It's it's unbelievable. Uh, yeah, so basically, again, this is pretty much everything I wanted to show you and tell you. So in case you've got any questions, just comment down below and I'll help you with anything you want to discuss or stuff like that. Okay, so thank you so much, guys, for watching and see you in the next one.